I just wanted to do a quick video about visual cues or visual reminders. I've talked about them a little bit in other videos, especially when I was talking about breathing and how, you know, if you're trying to create new habits or break old ones, sometimes it's really good to have a visual reminder when you're in your practice time. And so that's one of the things that I love to have because I'm a visual learner. So I guess it also depends on what kind of learner you are. But I know for me, I'm a visual learner. During practice time, when they're uh, forming new habits, uh, having a visual reminder helps. So I highly suggest, so let's say you have a, you're learning a new song or maybe you're doing warm ups, but you're practicing on taking deep, low, silent breaths instead of you're practicing. <laughs> so one thing that tends to be the first thing to go out of the window, especially when you're performing, is uh, remembering breathing technique. I've heard so many people say, man, I've been practicing it, practicing it, practicing it, and I really got it during my practice time. But when I was performing, it was the first thing that went out of the window. Well, usually if breathing is the first thing to go out of the window, then that means that the, um, the creating of the habit isn't as consistent as we might think during our practice time. So what I really like to do is I'll take a sheet of paper and let's say I'm doing warm ups, I'll take a sheet of paper and I'll write in really big letters, deep, low, silent breath. And then I'll put it on the music stand or I'll put it on the piano or keyboard or wherever I need to put it so that I can see it. So I won't necessarily put it to the side or somewhere where I won't be able to actively see it while I'm practicing. And then uh, I'll just it just helps me to remember to take that deep, low, silent breath, right? Um, you also might be trying to change where you're breathing during the song. So let's say that you have your music or your lyric sheet or your chart. You can mark in, of course, you wanna go ahead and mark in where you're gonna be breathing. And then we're gonna, we're gonna put that right in front of us so that every time we look at our music, we see where we're supposed to breathe or where we're not supposed to breathe, right? So that we're not just kind of taking breaths everywhere and <laughs> not necessarily noticing. But when you have things marked down, and you're actively looking at it, that's a great visual cue to remind yourself, hey, I'm not supposed to breathe right here, I'm gonna wait until I breathe here. And oh yeah, if I know that I'm not gonna breathe for this amount of time, maybe I need to write in deep, low, silent breath before this phrase so that I'll have enough breath to last until the end of the phrase. It's all about um, helping yourself to learn things more efficiently and this is more efficient for me because again I'm a visual learner so you have you have to find out what helps you the most and then really utilize that in your practice time because what we don't want to happen is to really get into our practicing and then you know at the end of that practice session we haven't really implemented the things that we've learned into that practice session because then that that really didn't do much <laughs> but I know sometimes as vocalists I know for me I would get so into the song or so into how my voice sounds you know and focusing more so on how my voice sounds and less so on the actual technique that I'm using or trying to implement but the more that we focus on that technique part the the easier it will become to use that when we're performing okay and then we won't have to think about it so much when we're performing because we would have been so consistent during the practice time. See what I mean? So um, I highly suggest that you really try those visual cues. If you try it, please let me know. Put it in the comments and let me know how it works for you. And even if it doesn't work for you, I want to know because I want to uh, I want to help in any way that I can. And like I said in the beginning, some people are visual learners, some people are not. So we want to figure out you know, what kind of things help you the most when you're creating new habits.
This next thing is one of my absolute faves that I love, especially if I have a long day or night ahead of me, and that's the um, these energizing teas. And this is the green matcha flavor. It also comes in pomegranate, but I really like the green matcha. Not that it necessarily tastes the best, I just like matcha. They come in these super handy little packs, little sticks. Super handy, you can just grab one, throw it in your bag and go. I like to mix it up with lemonade. It's really good if you do lemonade, but uh, you can also mix it up with water. And you don't even need a lot of water. You can just mix it in about that much water and just drink it down. But if you want to include it in a lot of water, you can. But this works so well as far as energy. And this will give you like just clean energy with, you know, doesn't have sugar in it and, and all that stuff, which I like because when you have an energy drink that has a lot of sugar, you'll have like that energy rush, but you'll also have a crash. And there's no crash with this, which I like. And so this comes in handy, especially if you have like long rehearsals or long studio sessions that you have to stay like alert and awake for like those studio sessions man <laughs> this comes in handy like it really does so i would definitely try it especially if you have a long studio session ahead of you or a long rehearsal now if it's after like seven eight o'clock and you plan on going to bed before midnight i don't know if i would drink one of these because when i say it works like it works it really works now it won't give you like a rush of energy but you'll have just like this clean line of energy and you just it'll, it'll be like wow i'm not tired hmm. it doesn't have all that sugar in it and all that stuff because sugary energy drinks it's like it might it's it might seem like it's cool because it'll give you that burst of energy, but with sugar, you know you're going to have a crash. And that's one of the things that I don't like about sugary energy drinks. And with this, it's not a lot of sugar. And some people are like, man, it just didn't really taste that good. Well, that's because there's not a lot of sugar in it that we're used to in drinks, you know? And so it's not going to taste the best, but you will be awake and you will have energy. <laughs> You will, like for real, for real. So I've included the link below in the video information if you'd like to try it out. Hey, thank you so much for checking out my video. I really appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you'll be notified every time I put out a new video. And also be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook and LinkedIn. I definitely want to make sure to connect with you in all those places. So thank you guys again so much. Bye. Sound like poetry as your words take hold of me and you didn't have to say a thing.